Hey guys, this is Frozen Thing Series here, and welcome back to another video. And today, I'm gonna be doing once again another trailer review. I just did a trailer review for Secret Invasion and Blue Beetle, so you can, you can go check it out right there. I definitely made the right choice to do this uh, separately from, from the other trailer reviews because this one definitely stands out for the rest. That's right, people. We're talking about my most anticipated movie of 2023, Spider Man Across the Spider Verse. By the way, I just got home from seeing Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. And yeah, yes, I will definitely do a, a, a movie review of that film ASAP, but let's talk about this one first because, I mean, there is a lot to say and process about this. Uh, yeah, um, everyone who knows me so well and knows how much I'm passionately hyped for this, so of course I have to talk about this right away. And I'm surprised um, to see like this uh, trailer like literally dropping early. Like, yeah, I mean, it, it, it got like dropped at like, um, a, a couple of hours later, but they decided to do it early, and I'm glad they did. Like, literally, when, when like, a, a few moments after I came out of Dungeons & Dragons, and th that's when the trailer came out, and, and, boy, I mean, wow. Now, if you want to know my, th my thoughts on the, the first uh, Spider-Man and the Spider-Verse, I think you all know that I, that I, I love it to death, so just like everyone else, uh, that, that movie literally um, re revolutionized that animation. It, it brought animation to a whole new level, not just animation-wise, but story-wise as well. Um, and uh, I knew that, it, I actually knew that uh, I was gonna love Into the Spider-Verse based on the trailer. I was a lot more hyped for it than, than everyone else thought. Like, like I'm sure everyone else were, was surprised by it, but personally, I knew I was gonna love it. Even though I knew I was gonna love it, I did not think that this was going to be one of my favorite movies of all time. Like, it's literally in, in, in my top 10 favorite movies of all time list. And it is my second favorite anime film of all time. Second only right behind, well, my favorite movie of all time, Frozen 2. Um, so, it's only a matter of time until like we, we got to see more of Miles, Gwen, and Peter B. Barker. And we got to see more adventures with them and more Spider-Verse. I mean... Literally, Sony has been screwing up with um, their Sony Spider-Man universe. I mean, a lot of people are complaining to death about how Sony's just literally just m making a villains, uh, um, literally um, ma making a villains that, that are unnecessary. I'm still like kind of optimistic about Craven the Hunter, but if, if there's one thing Sony is best at doing when it comes to the, the Marvel universe, it's certainly uh, um, it, it's certainly the the Spider-Verse films. I mean. Yeah, um, this this was my most anticipated movie, doesn't play three. I know I said it for a third time, but I um, mean, yeah, it's, um, uh, and and by the way, yeah, the, the the previous two trailers have have all really impressed me. Um, even if uh, there um wasn't a, a lot to do, there there wasn't a lot going on. Um, I, I still knew that this movie was going to be a masterpiece. Like like it's going to be it was going to be just as good as the first one. However, this trailer right here takes the hype of this my hype of this movie to a whole new level i love this trailer this is my favorite trailer of the year thus far yeah even dethroning the guardians of the galaxy volume 3 trailer and my god i'm and while um the first two trailers had didn't have much going on this one had so many going on and i'm not saying that um in a way that you know that, that, that it's, it's very spoilery and it's like spoiling everything Yes, it is, it, it is kind of like telling you what the plot is, but again, I still haven't really fully figured out what the exact plot is going to be. Like, from what I, from what I, 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 I picked up from his trailer, I, I don't know, Miles uh, has a uh, trouble with, Miles has, has a uh, broken relationship with his parents, but like, he always, like, has, like, uh, he, he seems to, like, you know, have, have this really big argument with his parents, and, uh, and 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 Larry Healy has the um, his school principal literally be becomes as suspicious that that Miles might be hiding, hiding something from them. And then he he goes on a uh, on a journey with where where to the multiverse where uh Spider Man two thousand ninety nine uh doesn't want Spider Man to join the team because you know he messed with something. They still like didn't really answer like what um exactly he did. Uh, but I mean literally he did something that that made uh, every single uh Spider Man uh, like Spider people go after him. This is literally like the John Wick of animated movies. We're like, yeah, this feels like the John Wick of animated movies, except even better. You know, literally, like you know how um, John Wick did something that made um and like every single assassin like like um come after him. That's what this movie feels. It's gonna feel like like every single spider people like coming after Mouse, like like they all like have a bounty on his head, and it's gonna be absolutely insane now. And 
Uh, and I'm gonna go as far as saying I think this looks even better than the first one. Wait, yep, I think this could be even even better than the first one. And um, could this be my favorite movie, 2023? I hope so, but it actually has competition with the Scream Six. Like Scream Six is like that good. So let's see how this one will turn out. Uh, but I already know this is going to be the best superhero movie of the year and the best anime movie of the year. There is no way any other superhero or anime movie can be better than this. Like, there is no way. I don't see any possibilities. But yeah, now let's dive into everything I love about this trailer. First of all, um, I love that this movie is actually challenging Bounce Morales once again. I'm like one thing to praise about the the first movie is how how it. it it's how deep they, they, they went into Mas Morales' uh, character arc, like how how he's challenged, he, he has like problems in life and uh, and, and, and you know um, he has to like you know fix those mistakes that he made. This movie looks like it's take, it, it, it's taking it to, to, to a whole new level where like where literally Mouse is the, the everything that everything that, that uh, Mouse um has learned in the first one is being challenged now like um and, and, and literally um um literally um he, He's he's gonna he's gonna have a have his life go down once again. Like, um, you can clearly see how um Miles is uh, literally grown. Uh, he's grown as a character, but at the same time, he feels kind of grown apart from his parents because literally, like, you you're seeing some like you know, arguments with his parents. Like, literally, Miles always complaining about everything, and and, and then getting a me uh, getting a grade in Spanish that you know it's great B grade, but like, I don't see what's wrong with the. Uh, like literally, Miles' parents literally wanted to get all A, so so th th they couldn't even accept him like getting B's. I mean, come on, like B is a good grade. I mean, most of my grades uh, are are literally are literally B's. So and that's not a problem. I, at least I still, at least I still pass. So, I mean that that's literally how uh, harsh uh, Miles' parents are, and th th that movie really acknowledges that. Um, and then and, and also like, like and throughout the the first half of the trailer. We finally get access to, to why Miles is grounded as seen in the in, in, in the teaser trailer, the first look where Miles said that he's grounded. Yeah. At least we, we, we at least we finally got an answer now, so thank God. Uh, and then um here comes the best Spyrus character ever, Gwen Stacy. And wow uh, <coughs> um every single Gwen Stacy shot of this movie of this trailer, wow. Gwen Stacy is um uh, it, it might be my superhero my my bad no sorry my bad when this might have uh, gone back to my uh, superhero crush uh, tied with Kate Bishop yeah Hilly Stifle is literally um on a roll um on a roll uh, playing my two favorite superheroes of all time and I love it and then um um and literally the the world of the multiverse looks absolutely surreal with all the the spire people and all and we get. A uh, Spider-Man twenty nine nine like um the guy who saw you saw in a post crazy who who's studying a multiverse or something, like literally I love how this movie makes a reference to the MCU like when uh when he said something about you know Doctor Strange you know like during like what he did uh, in the events of No Way Home and Multiverse of Madness like and and he literally acknowledges that 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 that, that um Kevin Feige was wrong because Kevin Feige um said something about um. About you know um where which timeline the which timeline the um uh, MC takes place in it. and then the fans are saying no it's wrong it, it, it it's not supposed to take place in this timeline. They really, uh, I love how the, the writers of this movie literally uh, address that. So yeah, that that MC reference w was was perfect. Uh, and um I, I don't think Spider Man ninety nine point nine nine is gonna be the, the the villain like in a promotional material um it said that spot was going to be the villain but for sure I think it's going to be uh. 2099 as the main antagonist and he's going to be an insane one and definitely a step up from kingpin now uh, even though i love kingpin um the action in this movie looks absolutely amazing like it yeah it feels like john wick um like um the john wick of anime movies uh, yeah i know this you guys say this in john wick has nothing in common but basically um you know in john wick how every single assassin's a target john wick because john wick like literally did something to, to catch your attention Literally, um, having every single spider people against Miles, and now Miles has to like survive, but like I against like hundreds of them. That's literally John Wick, and I think this movie would certainly be be better than John Wick. Uh, e even though I, I adore John Wick Chapter Four, um, and um, and by the way, the animation looks absolutely incredible. I mean, better than the first one. Like, and 
I don't know how how you can actually t top the top the animation. Literally, the the safest the way to like animate this is is have the same animation of, as the first as the first movie. But no, they literally push it further. I mean, like like I said, the the, the first Spider Verse um revolutionized the animation already and and literally um influenced the uh, like some other um animated movies uh, to uh have the comic book animation style. This one pushes it, pushes uh, that the uh, comic book style uh, even further, where it looks a tad bit more realistic, uh, but while while still trying to maintain that you know animation spirit, and and, and, and I love that that uh, 2D scene right right there. I, I I'm I'm sure you know the talking about that uh, that scene where where we see um all the spider people in 2D hand drawn form. I love it. I mean, that is literally a love letter to uh to the animation right there. Like you know the 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 2D animation we had before. And and also you um oh yeah and also you um you can clearly tell um you can clearly tell this movie is going to be emotional as well like, like this movie is going to hit your guts emotionally especially Gwen Stacy I mean they're clearly going going to make Gwen a very uh, um emotionally um resonating character you can and, and Mouse too but I think Gwen is likely going to be the heart of this movie and and and, and some of the jokes that and no not just those but. Um, the the humor is also really good as well, but I think that this this could be a more uh serious and grounded MCU. Uh, like not not MCU, serious and grounded anime movie, and it's gonna be dark as well. I mean, this movie looks really dark, like, like it's literally um, it's literally making the first film like um a lot you know darker and more intense than that than it already was. So, and um, and yeah, um, wow, I'm still trying. I'm. St <laughs> Even twelve minutes into this video, I'm still trying to process like everything, everything that's going on. But yeah, um, well, and I guess that's pretty much all I gotta say. Oh yeah, um, one last thing is that uh, I love that ending. Like, like where literally the, literally, literally um, um, the, in in the end of the uh, of so, sorry, I'm stuttering. Uh, but I'm I'm really like trying to process everything going on. But at the end of this trailer, um. You see Spider Man like, like in therapy and they're really like um talking about you know Uncle Ben and then and then the therapist is like later on like wait um let me guess he died so that that theory shows how uh how much the Spider Man are really acknowledge a uh, Spider Man story like like taking place in different universes where all of the all of them had something in common which is Uncle Ben's death uh, so yeah oh, wow so overall yes I'm definitely um one million percent high for Spider Man across the Spider Verse like. I, I couldn't praise this trailer enough, and yeah, th this movie is going to really hit me uh, hard I, I, as a huge Marvel fan, as a huge Spider-Man fan, and uh, as a huge comic book movie fan. Um, I, I know comic book movies where you hear movies are, are, are the same thing, but yeah, um, I, I wonder if this is really going to be the best movie of the year, because you know, you still got competition with Scream 6, uh, um, so yeah, um, the, so 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 for for my uh, trailer review of Spider Man Across the Spider Verse, uh, um, I I um June literally can, cannot come at any time soon. There like literally can can just come out sooner. Also yeah, I'm seeing this movie up on opening day May th in my area, which is May thirty one. Well, hopefully it doesn't come out later than that. Literally this movie that uh, I'm gonna be watching this movie a day before my graduation. Yep, yeah. um I'm gra I'm graduating like from high school this May May thirtieth. And then the next day, I'm going to be watching this movie. So this is going to be a legit, perfect graduation movie for me. So yeah, uh, what are your thoughts on this uh, trailer? And are you hyped for Spider-Man because it's Spider-Verse? Wow, well, there's truly a lot to say about this. Uh, so yeah, comment down below, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and stay tuned for my movie review of Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves. Bye, guys.